acorns really started to fall last week here at the Proving Grounds. And when the area you hunt is primarily covered with timber, it can be really tough to pattern deer when acorns are everywhere. They simply don't have to move very far to find something to eat. So when you get a pattern on a trail camera of deer coming to a food plot, you better jump on that opportunity. Smoking one tonight may have a little different definition than normal. We did a prescribed fire just off the edge of this food plot yesterday. Wind's blowing from that burnt area to us. We smell smoky, but I'm gambling deer are still coming out to eat on the food plot. Got a pattern on a Reconyx camera, a bunch of does feeding this plot. Let's give it a little time, see who steps out. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, also by Reconyx, Trophy Rock, Muddy Outdoors, Non-Typical Wildlife Solution, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Winchester, Scent Master, Dead Downwind, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Redneck Hunting Blind, Blood Sport Arrows, Prime Bows by G5, Outdoor Edge 9, and Flatwood Natives. Late in the afternoon, we heard footsteps letting us know that deer were approaching the food plot. During past years, deer had primarily entered this food plot in the southwest corner. But once we saw these deer, it was obvious they were headed right for our stand. Apparently, the prescribed fire had altered the habitat just enough to push them around much closer to our stand. Perfect, I see the hole. Hey Daniel, Grant and Adam, venison on the ground, bring the work truck, come when you can. Blood, blood. Well, a short trail to some more venison and a pretty short ways to the road. So this has been a great evening. Big doe. Don't want to drag her too far uphill. Perfect shot placement. I aim low. This is exit. I aim low in case they drop so the entrance will be a little higher on the other side. You know, when you get low, you get a great blood trail because you can see it's pouring out now. It's, it's not caught up in the body cavity. So I love that shot placement. It'll be two or three inches higher on the other side. Right here's the entrance. So you can see on the, ooh, that's a massive hole. My gosh. And clearly through a rib, just sliced the rib. That that quick without that knife. We processed the deer that night as our alarms were already set early to get in the truck and roll up to central Illinois the next day.
The best food source is the best quality in a deer's range. That, and hunters forget to that, you don't associate with danger. The deer doesn't associate with danger because they have memory. They don't want to die. They pattern you, confirm. You've always heard that, confirmed, not you patterning them. I was raised on a farm, man, we were poor. One day I dropped a watermelon, not on purpose, and dad was mad at me. That was, you know, 75 cents out of our budget right there. I just busted it right there. But it was red ripe, and you could smell that thing all day long. Man, we sold every watermelon we had. Next week I dropped another. That's, that's the truth, yeah. The biggest, meanest, worst attitude doe will have the best fawning area. Literally, there are good fawning areas. You know, where the wind's right, and the coyotes are not going to eat their fawns and all that stuff. And the secondary doe gets a little further out, and the young doe, she drops a fawn in your yard. So during the rut, the thing you're trying to pattern is this, not food covered water, and that's not predictable. If you've been married, you know this. We don't know, because we can't go, what do you think, buddy? Is she just wandering, or did she come looking just for you? We can't ask deer questions. Good science is really limited in the deer world. You know, man, I get to play with deer every day. I've been doing this for, you know, I've been incorporated 24 years. I've been doing it all through school. I've just, I've lived this incredible life. And I think everyone's built to do something. You can be the best whatever you are. So you have credibility, so you can share the gospel. I believe that in my whole heart. Thanks so much for allowing me to come up tonight. We really appreciate the opportunity to share. I hope some of this stuff works. Adam and I are going to hang around just a little bit. After the seminar, we drove on up to central Wisconsin where we met Jerry, Jim, and Eric. <laughs>
and uh, see what happens this afternoon. As the mature doe approaches Adam's stand, he's working hard to get his bow ready and the camera on the doe where they both have a good view. two things tonight. One, we wanted to kill a doe to fill the freezer. And two, I wanted to see what the new Havocs from G5 was going to do. And it absolutely knocked a, a, a just a massive hole in the shoulder of this big old doe. But, so we're going to drag her out of here, get her get her gutted and skinned and, and take care of her tonight and, uh, and uh, have a little bit of meat for the freezer. All in all, it's a great hunt for Adam. He's on the board for 2014. Whether you're out working on a habitat project or in that tree stand by yourself, it's important to remember that you're never truly alone. And that's why I always remind us to slow down and take time and listen to what the creator is saying to you. Thanks for watching GrowingDeer.tv. And so Dad, ready? Okay, shoot. And I feel the big buck run out of field. And I, you know, man, I was, my dad, you know, is getting too old. I mean, you know what's going on? And I just crushed. And he goes, I got it, son. And now I'm really crushed. I'm thinking he's got dementia all at once. <laughs> and I don't know what to say to him. And I don't want, I mean, my, really, my dad is my best friend. He was the best man at my wedding, all the stuff. You, know, and, uh, you sure, Dad? Oh, yeah, man. Right shoulder, son. I'm going to go check, Dad, because I'm, I'm lying. I'm just thinking I got to get out here and come up with something to say. So I walk down. The field's got a little road to it. Nothing left on the old arts. Sure enough, got about 70 yards from right Stewart's little, there's the dead deer. He just shot the wrong one. He comes down with the skull, settled on the antlers, looked into him, and I'm not gonna embarrass you. Come back, Dad, you made a perfect shot. Called Adam, said, don't say a word. Come help me load this deer and fill the closing. You know what? It should be fun first. Keep hunting fun. Hot, right, next slide.